is having a girlfriend as a 17 year old good and if so is it bad to have sexual relations with this female okay so again right Wusaba is the future. Wusaba is our culture. Wusaba is what governs how we live and how we do things, right? Now, in Wusaba, we don't really condone and have boyfriends and girlfriends because you have to ask yourself, what's the purpose? Because like you say, it will ultimately lead to sexual relations, right? So the young people in Wusaba are groomed to be supreme beings, to know that if they are going to be with somebody, that they keep themselves as chaste and as clean as possible. And, and so they can have courting in the sense where the parents of each family would know, you know what's going on and they, would, they choose wisely. We have to look at genetics, look at, do you know what I mean? Do you have any diseases in your family, etc., 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 so that when you do come together as a union, you meet and have a soulmate and you produce children that are also supreme beings. The reason we don't promote boyfriends and girlfriends as in the West is because you exchange a lot of bodily fluids and you take on a lot of personalities and spirits and energies from other people. And now if you have more than one girlfriend or boyfriend over a period of time, this is where a lot of the issues that people will end up having come in because this multiple personalities within your DNA, within your blood. And we have books that go into this, such as The Genetic Kiss, it's an actual fact. We have um, Soulmates, which is a part Taruk. So for us, I'm saying we're not here to dictate and govern how people should live their lives outside of Wusabat because you have different cultures and they handle things differently. But if you're serious, people make fun of, you know, young people who remain virgins and things like that for a long time. But it's the best way to be. It's just that you've been given the wrong information in the programming in the West that is just, you know, just exchange and have multiple partners. So by the time you're ready for a serious relationship or to be married or anything like that, you know, it actually affects you because... Um, like we say, these personalities kind of come through in your being. So um, I guess you got to take from that. If you were a Sabian, then I would say read. Um, there's, a, there's a book called The Sacred um, Feminine, yeah? The Lotus of Life on the Sacred Feminine by Parnabab Yanun, which goes into detail. And I think the more information you should have, or shall I say, the first thing you should do is stop, get the information, study it, and see if it makes sense for you before you engage in any sexual relationships with, especially at that age, because you can also have offspring or have children and you're not ready financially, economically, you know, you can't look after each other and then, you know, other problems come in. So yes, that's, that will be the answer in terms of also about no boyfriends, no girlfriends until you're an adult. And by that time, you would have been groomed and have been prepared and, and you know, ready to be able to bring forth these, these supreme beings.